In other health-related matters, this time concerning COVID-19, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George says the island's 29th COVID patient is doing well at the respiratory hospital. The 48-year-old minibus driver has had COVID-19 tests repeated and validated and is confirmed positive. Since Saturday, 10th October 2020, a total of 500 persons have been reviewed in relation to this new case. And this includes close contacts, minibus drivers and commuters from the bus route and residents from the community. 283 tests have been done and the results received so far are negative. About 50 people have been placed in quarantine to date and the community and contacts of the patients will be monitored for a period of 14 days to assess the impact of this case. This past weekend, in response to this case, investigations and contact tracing commenced in communities and amongst key populations of concern and these activities are still ongoing. In addition, respiratory clinics were extended over this weekend to support contact tracing related to this case. The Constituency Council Office in Larishos was set up as a community outpost to aid in accelerating assessments and testing. As part of the advanced planning for the possibility of a community outbreak, the present quarantine capacity and testing capacity has been reviewed and the capacity for increased cases which may the CMO says interventions in the more affected communities included health education and the distribution of face masks at key locations and the strengthening of preventative and control measures with the support of community leaders. The scheduled social activities for affected communities are being reviewed to determine an, their adherence to protocols or the requirement for cancellation. This new confirmed case presents a high level of risk at the community level. We continue to appeal to the public to cooperate and share relevant information with the health team. We also remind the public that the Ministry of Health remains the official source of accurate information and should seek clarification at that level. The five community respiratory clinics remain open for persons with presentive signs and symptoms and the 311 information hotline is available to help address COVID-19 related questions and concerns. The treatment and care for COVID-19 related conditions remain free of charge to the public. A total of 8,827 COVID-19 tests have been conducted in St. Lucia to date.